This video was created by Hayden Carroll and Austin Kugler as a part of the final project for the CS155 class at North Idaho College. This video showcases an application that we built using Python. There are two main components of our project. The first is a full text editor for LC3 code, and the second is an interpreter for the LC3 assembly language. First, we will talk about the text editor. The text editor allows all .asm and .txt files to be opened and edited, so let's open a file. Files can be opened by simply pressing the File button and then Open. You can then navigate to the file you wish to open. Alternatively, the keys Control and O can be simultaneously pressed to open a file. Now that we have opened a file, you will notice that the name of the file we have opened is in the title of the window. This will always display the name of the currently opened file. Another notable part of the editor is the black bar towards the bottom of the window. If you look at the far left of the bar, you will see the current line number that of your cursor is displayed. Directly to the right of the line number is an area that will display the time when the file was last saved after being opened. We have not saved yet, so let's do that now. A file can be saved by clicking the File button and then the Save button, or by using the hotkey Control S. As you can see, the time last saved has been updated now that we've saved the file. If we press the Help button in the menu at the top of the window, we are allowed several options. Pressing the User Guide button will display a helpful guide that contains a short description of our LC3 editor, as well as some key differences it has when compared to the traditional LC3 editor and simulator. Pressing the Shortcuts button will display a list of hotkeys that you are able to use while programming. These are helpful to know while programming. It should be noted that the Control R hotkey will run the interpreter on the currently open file. Below the editor, you will see an instance of the Windows command prompt. This is where all the input and output by the interpreter is performed. The second major component of our project is an LC3 assembly language interpreter. The interpreter was created using Python 3 and can be utilized directly from our editor. We were able to achieve this integration by writing both the editor and the interpreter in Python. The integration of the editor and interpreter allows you to see how your code executes at a much faster pace than the traditional LC3 simulator. Our interpreter runs directly in the terminal instead of having a separate application just for simulation. On the back end, the interpreter is implemented with the same logic as the LC3, with each instruction being replicated in Python. Our LC3 interpreter has the ability to convert all instructions both to and from their binary equivalent. Instructions that are present in both traditional LC3 assembly and its machine language counterpart are implemented in the interpreter. Also implemented in the back end is a virtual version of computer memory where instructions and data are stored. One major advantage to the, interpreter, to the interpreter is the fact that LC3 code does not need to be assembled before it can be ran. Another advantage is the ability to pass large immediate values without a finite bit restriction. The interpreter we, we created has the ability to simulate traditional LC3 assembly language with a few notable differences. One difference is the lack of the dot syntax, meaning that there is no dot org, end, or fill. Instead of using a .org statement, the simulator places the first line of assembly code at hex 3000 by default. The .end keyword is replaced by the end of file flag that is present after the last character in an ASM file. Another difference is the lack of labels. The ability to pass unrestricted immediate values allows code to be written much faster as labels do not need to be created for values that are normally too large for an LC3 instruction to limited bits. Other than these differences, the interpreter has the ability to simulate the execution of traditional LC3 code. The implementation of the interpreter in Python allows new instructions to be easily added on the back end. This means that you can build your own interpreted assembly language around the traditional LC3 assembly language. 
If desired, any of the numerous Python libraries could also be used to create new instructions. Together, the LC3 assembly editor, interpreter, form our final project, the Easy LC3 editor.